Now the apostle Paul writing in Romans chapter 1 and verse 16, what does he say? I am not ashamed of the gospel because the gospel is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone that believes. First to the Jew and then to the Gentile. And then he says, through the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed from one degree of glory to another degree of glory. When you go into the Bible and you study the stories of the Bible, particularly of the kings of Israel, every king that succeeded in his leadership or during his reign was a king that took delight in the word of God. Such a king, God gave him wisdom. Such a king, God give, gave him understanding. Such a king, God gave him good judgment. Friend, this is an amazing thing that you need to do. Taking delight in the word of God. You wake up in the morning and you are just rejoicing in the word of God. Yes, your body is aching. There is pain in your body. But you think about the word of God. You look at the promises of God. He says... By the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. And the word of God says in Psalm 103, He forgives all our sins. He heals all our diseases. Jeremiah 33, 6, He restores us to health and He heals us. Exodus, He says, and He will bless our water. And he will take sickness from our midst, away from us. And he says, He will, he says, I am the Lord that healeth thee. There are so many things that he says. But look at this, friend. The secret is when you, de you take delight in the law of the Lord. To take delight means to show admiration. To worship God. To love the word of God. To show admiration. Let the word of God to you be more valuable than silver and gold. When you wake up in the morning, you know business people wake up in the morning looking for what? Money. But you wake up in the morning first of all as a businesswoman, as a businessman. To kneel down before the Lord and pray. And study the word of God. Let your day begin with the word of God. Don't let your day begin with the fear and the quest for money. Because money is a very serious rival of God. There are many people, we are more committed to our money pursuits than we are committed to the pursuits of the word of God. Here is the advice to each one of us, leaders like the chief, Every morning before you do anything, as you wake up from your bed, the first thing that you need to do, before you check even messages on your phone, the first thing that you need to do is read the word of God and pray. Remember that, all, that um, Sunday school song? Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. If you want to grow, to grow, read your Bible, pray every day. If you want to grow, if you want to grow, do what? Read your Bible and do what? Pray every day. Read your Bible and pray every day. That is what the Word of God tells us. Read your Bible and pray every day. That is what God tells you to do. If you don't read the Bible and pray every day, you are not going to be strong. Now, for you young people, 
who are here. When we were students in school, the Kenya Students Christian Fellowship taught us something called quiet time. And we were taught that every morning when you wake up, before you do anything, before you go to class, just have a moment, even if it is 15 minutes, I'm not asking you to do it for that for those of you who are students, I'm not asking you to do it for two hours. Just wake up in the morning, like this is what I used to do. I wake up in the morning and I read the Bible in five minutes. And after reading the Bible in five minutes, which will take me, could be one chapter or two chapters. After reading the Bible in that, uh, in that amount of time, I also pray. And I'll go into prayer for another like five minutes and after praying like for five minutes i will now just be quiet before the presence of god for five minutes i just want you to try that and see what happens in your life just wake up in the morning read your bible five minutes five minutes pray five minutes i'm just asking you for five minutes students those of you who are students Five minutes pray. And when you pray, be specific. Be what? Be specific. Don't just make noise in the presence of God. Don't take time complaining before God. That is, God doesn't re respond to complaints. He responds to specific prayers, specific requests from his children. Ritual nourishment. Click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video.